about the wives. So today is Talk to the Wives Tuesday. Then maybe we'll do hits. Um, today I want to talk to the wives about communication. Communication as far as with your husband and your wants and your needs. Okay? Um, we as women are nurturers. By nature that's what we do. We want to take care of the house. We want to take care of the husband. We want to take care of the kids, we want to take care of work. We just want to nurture and make sure that, generally make sure that everyone is happy. But in doing that, a lot of times, we as women um, get bogged down and we get tired and we tend not to say anything to our spouse, which is supposed to be always your best friend. So if you have a best friend, you should be able to open up and say anything that you need to to your best friend. Um, so, what we need to learn as wives is not to hold things in. Because when you hold things in, you tend to become resentful. And you become resentful to the one that is closest to you, and usually that is your husband. But in reality, we cannot be resentful to our husbands because we didn't ask for what we wanted or what we needed. So. You can't be resentful towards him because you didn't ask for what you wanted and what you needed. Um, you know, we go, we go to prayer. We pray every day. We ask God for what we want and need. Why can't we turn around and in the same sense turn in, turn it over and then ask our husbands for what we want and what we need? That's the question. You should always be able to ask your husband what you want and what ask for what you want. Excuse me and what you need. Um, if you're tired. You want to you know lay down, but you know kids run around. You gotta take Sally to football practice. You gotta take Bobby to basketball practice. Did I just say that Sally's going to football practice? I'm like, yes, it is the year 2016. Go ahead, Sally. <laughs> but, you know, whatever you, whatever you have to do, then you get bogged down with work, and then you know, you're, you're trying to go to church, or you're trying to get, you know, your meetings, or you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that, you're trying to make everybody happy. But you must ask for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help and communicating your wants and your needs towards your husband. Say you have a, a cookout. You know, you're in the house, you're cooking, you're chopping up, you're cleaning. Um, and you feel that he's just walking around and not acknowledging you, then say something. Now, men in general are not that perceptive with certain things. So they might be caught up in doing whatever they're doing. And to us, it might seem minimal that they're doing what they're doing and we're doing everything on a grand scale, but that's okay too. That, that, that's totally okay too. But you still mustn't always say, hey babe, can you mop this floor right quick for me? Hey uh, babe, can you take this trash out for me? Or you know, whatever you need. Um, men, this little part is for you. You need to be perceptive with what your wife wants and needs. Let me rephrase that. You need to be perceptive of what she looks like. If she looks worn down, if she looks tired, if she looks frustrated, you as husbands need to be perceptive and say, okay, wait a minute, let me stop uh, doing this part and, and let me talk to my wife and say, hey babe, do you need to do anything? Then you can go from there. So it's, it's a two-way street. You know, we always you know say that, that marriage is not 50-50. Don't forget that marriage is not 50-50. Marriage is 100-100. You have to both give 100 so that the marriage can be great. So you need to be able to communicate wives to your husband that, you know, you need help with homework, you need help with the kids, you need help with the housework. You also, women, uh, wives, you need to make sure that you inform your husband what you need in the bedroom. Yes. Sex feels good and everybody wants it, but there might be different things that you want and need. So if you need that, then speak to him and say, let's do this, let's do that. Whatever goes on, 
In your bedroom is your baby, not your space. You need to be able to be perceptive towards that. I'm sorry, you need to be able to communicate towards the husband, and then the husband needs to be perceptive of that. So with that saying, wives, I'm just here to do this little short video. Make sure that you are communicating with your husbands. Communicate your wants and your needs. Now, wives, remember, you don't want to be totally aggressive at the beginning. You know, time goes on, he doesn't do what you need to do, then, you know, you get upset. But just say, hey, babe, I need this done. I need that done. Just make sure that you communicate. That way you don't build a resentment towards him for not doing what you wanted him to do. They're not mind readers. None of us are. They're not mind readers. So just tell him what you want done, what you need to be done. And then hopefully if your, your husband is perceptive to that, men, make sure that you've got your little antennas up, you're a little receptive to the things that are going on around you, especially that goes on with your wife. Because what's the saying? If the wife ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Okay? So just want to stop by and say that communication, communication. Women, you want to communicate your wants and your needs towards your best friend, which is your husband. Also, we want to just say, thank God we're at over 900 followers. We are so excited and so blessed to, to be in this ministry. If you follow us on Facebook, you know that um, there's a lot of things that Nick and I are doing. Um, God is just blessing us and he's taking us to uh, another level. And we are so grateful and we're so humble for that. So again, follow us on Facebook, Johnson Pillow Talk. Follow us on Twitter at J Pillow Talk and our YouTube channel, which is also Johnson Pillow Talk. So with that being said, I want to say thank you for watching the video and we'll talk to you later. And don't forget, hubbies, Nathan will be doing his next. All right. Well, thank you again. Well, we love you guys. Keep that pillow talk coming. And remember, pillow talk is always the right talk. Bye. Thank you.